uh, uh, support base that Peter Obi is getting, the kind of attention that he is getting. Do you think that is for nothing? You look at uh, the fact that Atiku Abubakar, uh, Buhari won Atiku with on about 2 million votes in 2019. It's not a pushover at all. And I've heard people say this election will shock people. There are sitting governors, there are states that are, that are controlled by ruling parties that they are going to, uh, they are going to, uh, they are going to be defeated in those states. Uh, these kind of shocks, how much of fear does this send down in your, in your, uh, in your, in your spine? Um, so I think um, JG didn't do any job for me. I think JG actually um, said the truth. Um, you know, and um, even though that his build up and his analysis I do not agree with in terms of vote buying and stuff like that, but um, the truth it is what it is. Um, Atuwajibola Metinumbu is very respected, and um, people love him, and um, people are going to vote for him. And when you say um, the Labour Party hype, I also um, started, um, you know, something that I used to uh, help a lot of young people to register uh, for their PVCs uh, sometime back last year. And I can say that, yes, um, in places like Lagos, a lot of young people came out and um, they were obedient and they were going to vote for um, Obi. But when you go to places like Kano, Abuja, Katsina, uh, places that we visited, it's, uh, it's not, you know, it, the story is not the same. And this is a presidential el election. Uh, it's not like we're contesting in only uh, Lagos, which Asiwaju is also going to win, or we're contesting in, you know, or Anambra or a few places. So there are a few places that um, Peter Obi um, is loved, but in general and in totality, um, Asiwaju, Bola, Metunumbu still remain means, uh, you know, the man uh, to win this um, election. So, yeah, Deji is um, actually just saying the truth. And I, I, I believe that um, I cannot wait. That's why I'm saying, everyone, let's go, uh, you know, to the to the battlefront and let's test your popularity and let's see. Um, with our PVCs, uh, we'll make sure that, um, you know, uh, Asiwajibola Ahmed uh, Tinumbu becomes president. Thank you. I mean, if there are states that you think is still not certain for your party to win, which would this state be? Our? Um, so honestly, I would say that, um, first of all, you keep saying my party. <laughs> I, always I mean, your candidate, party, rather. I'm not a <laughs> member. <laughs> okay, um, so there are a few states that um, we would not, or I do not think we would win, but I see, um, I see strongly that even in states that we do not win, we'll get our 25%. Uh, and those states, I will say, uh, some states in the southeast, um, you know, uh, maybe one or two states in the south. South, um, you know. So I would, I would say, it's a tough one. This election is actually a tough one, especially um, with the Atiku and Tinumbu, because I think it's a two-horse race. Um, it's actually very tough, but um, in totality, because we have the southwest, we have the northwest, we have the, um, you know, northeast, and um, you know, we have a, we have a bit of the north central, and just we have the north capacity to pull out 25 percent from the south out and the southeast so um i think it's just time for us to celebrate uh like i just says we just want to dance now because uh, we're we're we ready and we have our pvcs ready for the election yeah.